What's up everybody, welcome to Magic for Beginners. My name is Keith and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at a stripper deck trick which you can produce the four aces so easy from a deck of cards. You can also change this up and have four spectator cards or even three, two, however many spectator cards you want. But for this trick, we're gonna use the four aces. So essentially what you can do is we've got the four aces here. And like I said, these can be four different spectator cards. Now you're gonna get the spectators to take the four aces and gonna lose them in the deck. They can go anywhere they want in the deck. And as you can see, just put them in like this. You can stack them up so they can even see the four aces there and they're in the deck. You push them in. Now, what we're gonna do is just gonna give a couple of shuffles and then we're gonna try and find the, the spectator's aces cards or the spectator's chosen cards. So, just give it a couple shuffles just like so and then as if by magic you can do the four cards and the four cards on the top and now the spectators chosen cards or the four aces super simple so now we've had a quick performance now it's going into the explanation of this trick so what you need to do is either get the four aces just like so or like I said, you can have the spectator choose any four playing cards or four different spectators choose four cards. You can do it with three, two, five, six, as many as you want, but generally four or less is a lot easier. So if you have all the cards in the same orientation, then the four cards which are picked out, they need to go in the other orientation. So when they are lost in the deck, they will stick out and you'll be able to see them. So for example, you put all these in. And again, these can be put in any random place at all. There's no specific order or place that these need to be in. As you can see they're in a different order than what it was last time. All the cards are there and they can get lost in the deck. Now this is where you can use the stripper deck to essentially strip out the cards. So like so, that stripped out them four cards. To be honest, taking the deck and then just doing that and receiving the four cards isn't very magical. So what I tend to do is sort of you can do a couple of cuts and do some Hindu style shuffles. Now with the Hindu shuffle, you can take out lots of clumps of cards and it looks like it's a, a fair shuffle. But what essentially you're doing is you're gonna be stripping out the four cards and those four cards are gonna be at the top of the deck. So when you stop your shuffling, you should have your four aces, just like so. And again, they can be lost in the pack anywhere you want. Like that. And if you can see there, you'll see the aces are sticking out. So essentially all you have to do is pull down on those and they're gonna strip out like so. But under the motion of when you're doing the Hindu shuffle is technically you're gonna pull those out as well. So even if you take out a big clump of cards, those aces are gonna come out with the rest. So there, I've got a big clump here and the top four cards are the aces. So even if you take out, like I said, a big clump, you're gonna be pulling out those aces too, like that. And you can just sort of, even just keep shuffling as much as you want until you can get the spectator to stop or you can stop or whatever you want. And when you stop, you're left with them four aces. Super simple trick and super easy to perform as well. And like I said, you can do it with the four aces or four chosen cards from the spectator, which makes it even better. So as long as they can remember what cards they've got, you'll be able to bring those four cards up. And if you do it in a particular order as well, you should be able to sort of display them for each one. Again, like the chased order, so club, spades, hearts, diamond, as long as they are put in the deck in that particular order, so clubs first, clubs highest, in the card, sorry. Uh, spades, hearts, and diamonds. So as long as they're in that particular order, when you drag them out to be picked up, you'll have the uh, club spades, hearts, diamonds, like so. So if you get the first spectator to put their card near the top, second one further down, third, then fourth, they will always appear to the top of the deck in that order that they put them in, in the height of the deck. So there's a quite handy tip. So if you go around in a circle, you can get that person to put it in near the top, that person in the middle, that one near the bottom, and then that one near the bottom. Then when you pull out those four cards, you can deal them down in that order, and that's their chosen card. 
The stripper deck is such a useful deck. A lot of magicians get it when they're in beginner and when they start to do card tricks, they sort of learn slights and things like that and they abandon the stripper deck. But a lot of things that can be done with the stripper deck can be done with a normal deck. However, a lot of these require no sleight of hand at all, so you can do them so, so easy. I've been doing quite a lot of stripper deck tutorials on this channel, so on the screen you should see a playlist with the stripper deck tutorials. I've also got a compilation video of five stripper deck tricks, which some of these might be in, some of them might not, and that's on the screen as well. So if you have any issues or comments, please leave a comment below, and until next time, see ya!